Has anybody, if you've ever seen this movie Ice Age, put your hands up. You seen the movie Ice Age? Has everybody seen it? We're so glad that this movie came out, Ice Age, because uh, who was this guy right here? What was he? Manny. What was his name in the movie? He was a mammoth, and he was Manny. How about this guy over here? Sid. Sid. What was he? Sloth. How about this guy over here? Yes, yeah, saber tooth cat. Okay, here's the shocker. Here's the shocker. You ready? Except for Scrat. Scrat is make believe. So when I hold this, I always cover that up. He's make believe. The rest of those animals you saw in that show were real. And here's the other shocker. We find their bones in Corpus Christi. We find them here. You find them actually all over North America. You, who knew that mammoths used to live in, down here in South Texas? Okay, you might have studied that, right? Okay, we actually have their bones. So these, if you've seen that movie, okay, and remember at the beginning of the movie, all the animals, which direction were they going? They were going south, right? Okay, so right now in South Texas, it's very hot, isn't it? And a woolly mammoth? Is it cold there? So how did it get cold here in South Texas? Okay. Okay. So what we're going to talk about here is, yeah, how did it get cold? What are mammoths doing down here? And you saw in the movie, they all seem to be like, like they're up north somewhere. Huh? Okay. Who's, you've heard, all heard of global warming, right? Global warming? Okay. Then we're going to go back over my chart over here. Okay, there's global warming... There must have been global cooling. Okay, follow this logic, okay? Global cooling. This is, the, uh, this is young and this is old, right? Remember fact number one, young and old? Okay. Global cooling started two million years ago. Write that down. Fresh page. And on these, I put yellow, yellow little dots on here. These are the ice ages. We've had an ice age right here, and we have ice ages over here. That was it. So, what age is this right here? This is green, so this is dinosaurs. Were there any ice ages when the dinosaurs were here? There weren't any. Look, the ice ages were here, these colors, and these colors. There was no ice on the poles down here. There wasn't any. Dinosaurs lived in, uh, down in the south, they lived in the north. No ice, no snow. Global cooling, write this down. Global cooling started two million years ago. Global, I'm going to use blue. So global cooling. When did global cooling start? Two million years ago. Two million. And maybe we ought to use the math and do the zeros. So let's do it. How many zeros in a million? One, two, do it backwards like that. And then you put a two in the front. Two million years ago is when global cooling started. Okay, so it was all hot in here. For whatever reason... Uh, Ms. Mumford, can you be my geology assistant on this one? Okay. Two million years ago, it started, the world started to get colder. And while I was waiting, while Alan was doing his presentation, I found this chart. Is this, is this something prepared by your school? Okay. Do you all recognize this? What is this called? Water cycle. The water cycle. I like this one. See, here's water in the oceans. What happens to water in the oceans? It evaporates. Evaporates. Where does it go up to? The sun. Up to the... And then what happens? Rains, and then what? Then it goes back down and continues to cycle again. You see that? So this is called the water cycle. You can go on the other side. Okay. Okay, this is the water cycle, right? Water in the oceans evaporates. It goes up into the clouds. It goes, lands on the earth, and, and it goes as rain. It goes back to the water again, right? And it, it evaporates. You got that? That's called the water cycle. I saw it on your own chart, so I know you're studying it. It's very Interesting. That's exactly what happens. Okay? But when the earth starts getting cold, when the earth starts getting cold, the, the water cycle is interrupted. You can see it gets cold, it comes up here, and then what does it happen when it comes on the earth? What comes down on the earth? Instead of rain, what comes down? Snow. Right? Snow starts coming down on the earth. It doesn't run off anymore, does it? And then over a long period of time, evaporation keeps coming, it keeps snowing. And the snow accumulates on the ground. 
And up, up here north, it gets snow. When you get through really thick snow, and s the snow will turn into what? Ice. Right? Snow will compact into ice. And ice gets to be so thick, it starts moving. Have you studied glaciers? Glaciers? So the up here's Canada up in here. So the glaciers, it starts getting colder as more water comes out of the oceans and it stays on the continent. The glaciers start moving south. Now here's my, my glacier. It's from Mumford, right here. Here's, you, you get your half the glacier, your side. Okay, see, so as, it, as the glaciers come south over North America, as it gets colder and colder and colder in the ice ages, what's this right here? This is a glacier, okay? And there's animals living here, right? It's getting cold, so where do the animals go? South. south. You can either, you've got to move, adapt, or die. Those are your three choices. So it's cold, the animals want to go this way. So it gets, keeps getting colder. So this is my simulation of a glacier in the ice ages. The ice, it comes down. Here's Chicago. Here's the Great Lakes right here. The Great Lakes, you've probably studied, were made by glaciers that came south. The glaciers carved it, and we're going to go down to here. So it gets colder and colder and colder. It gets colder and more ice and more snow. The water comes out of the oceans more and more. You have two miles of ice over Chicago. Look, two miles straight up ice. New York, one mile of ice. Can animals live on glacier? glacier? No. There's no dirt. There's no trees. There's no animals. There's no rocks. There's nothing. So those animals in this story did not live here. They had to live over here on the edge, over here near water, or on her end down there. Okay? They don't live here. They get away from that. It's too cold. Okay? So it gets colder and colder and colder. Okay? By the time you get right to here, this is Missouri and Kansas. You get ice. Two miles in Chicago, one mile in New York, solid ice. Where'd all the animals go? All the movies, you, all those animals you saw in that movie move south. And that's why you find them in all this part of the country down here in the south. Because when you had ice in Kansas and in Missouri, this is simulated. It actually goes something like this. And then you have uh, glaciation for the mountains. So it kind of goes like this. But that's the, the concept, okay? So... So that's why we find this bone, for instance. This is a bone. It's not a rock. Okay, this is a joint from a mammoth. I found this out here in, in the Oasis County, out here in our own county. We can find these. And you actually find them all over the country. Here's another big bone right here. These are from extinct animals. You saw in that movie, we find their bones here. Okay, see that? I'm going to give one to your school in a minute. Here's a pretty cool one right here. I like the, I'm not giving you this one, but this is pretty cool. Hold your fingers up like this. This is an anatomy lesson. Look at your fingers. How many bones in your finger? Count them. One, two, three. Now, you're going to learn later that bone, these bones are called, these are called phalanges, okay? And the middle one right here is called the middle phalange, okay? That middle bone right there is called the middle phalange. That one right there? And this is a phalange, middle phalange from a mammoth. This came from our own county right here. This bone right here is that bone right there. Are they big? Why do you think we call mammoths mammoth? Because they were huge. I've seen a skeleton of one when I was visiting a museum. It was a, a model of it. And you could walk under him, walk under his belly. You could, if I could have a picture of it right here. Here's the one I actually walked under. Bottom of his belly was six feet tall. Right here. He weighed... Five tons, 10,000 pounds. These are Colombian mammoths. I have a poster over here you can see. Those are some posters we'll give you too. There's those, the mammoths and mastodons and gomphotheres actually lived in South Texas. Okay? And so now you know why they were here, right? Here's another cool one we have here. Let's look at this one right here. This one's in the movie too. Yes. They're the two, they look like giant armadillos. In the movie, they're walking along and they're talking to each other. And they're saying, why do they call it the Ice Ages? And what, what's the answer to that question in the movie? Why do they call it the Ice Ages? Because of all the ice. So two of these things, these are armadillos. They're the size of Volkswagens, cars. They're so huge. This one was actually found in Ingleside, okay? It's, it's actually on display in Austin right here. These creatures we found here, over here is a sloth, 13-foot-long sloth, as long as a suburban. 
this animal, a sloth. In the movie, he's just a little guy, right? But in South Texas, or actually all over North America, they're big. Okay, so 